Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video. This is the beginning of the colonization of Kerbin. Now I'm going to do things a little differently. I'm actually going to start off on another planet. So I'm going to act like Kerbin is destroyed and the survivors are going to start off uh, probably Duna. I mean, I might go for, um, mm, what was that other planet? Lathe? I might go for Lathe? I don't know. I'll either start on Lathe or Duna. I'm really pressing towards Duna because it's like Mars and, you know, Mars is cool and all that good stuff. But once I get to Duna or Lathe, I'm going to set up a colony and then we'll start building outwards from there. Making space stations and, you know, obviously colonizing the moon and moving on or ike i guess and moving on from there and whatnot i'm going to purposefully avoid kerbin for as long as i can and we're gonna pretend that's like a death planet everything's dead or whatever so we'll start colonizing the next planet from there is drez right and then moving outwards and stuff of this nature now during my uh trying to figure out you know how i'm going to do this i found out that the clamps uh were taken out of the game I can't find them anywhere inside the game, which kind of sucks. I, I thought this was a glitch at first when I downloaded um, Simple Construction the first time, and it didn't work. You know, Simple Construction was out of date, so it didn't work. And now I've downloaded the new version of Simple Construction, uh, the clamps are gone again. So I'm utterly confused. I'm wondering if that's a thing where the designer or the dev of this mod doesn't want you to use clamps for some reason. So I will try my best to not use them, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm not actually starting on Kerbin, because I could imagine not having clamps would really, really suck when you're trying to launch something large into space. Uh, I'm really baffled as to why that particular part is missing, but it is what it is. And <laughs> You know, there's nothing you can do about it, I suppose. But, um, now another thing about the mod is that when you build something from the uh, docking ports, uh, and it appears in the game world, unfortunately, it does get stuck inside the docking port. So I had to go through all of the craft files, uh, and sort of find a way to build a kind of get around system. I'm st it's still going to be in testing. And I might have to develop something else. But right now what I'm doing is kind of like making a little uh, docking piece that decouples completely. So that, you know, the Kraken doesn't attack and destroy everything when you finally build a building in into the world. I'm thinking I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to have to get a decoupler rather than a docking port. But we'll, we'll see. I'm still, like I said, I'm, I'm still going to test and stuff of this nature and make sure it's perfect before we start trying to actually build anything. I went through all the satellites and I put on, you know, actual satellite dishes and everything else and uh, because of the, origi the original craft files were meant to only communicate so far. Uh, they weren't meant to communicate all the way to Kerbin, but at this point I was like, you know what, screw it. If it allows me to get part count go down, that's fine. I'm not really worried about it. So I went through all the uh, satellite craft files and reorganized them, recategorized them, and updated them a little bit. Same thing with the rovers. I found out that uh, while testing building the rovers and stuff, that the uh, building rover, or the construction rover, the robo construction rover it, the mod needs engineers in order to build something and unfortunately there are no engineers on the construction rover which means that at this point the construction rover is useless um unfortunately now i have not tested out if a construction rover could still work with possibly an engineer in another uh craft maybe remote controlling it i'll test that out as well but I highly doubt that that's the case. I think you need an actual engineer on site in order to build anything. And if that is the absolute case, then the construction rover will have to be deleted and we'll have to figure out something else in order to build craft files or crafts on the ground. So the idea here is because construction rovers can't exit out of the lander and start building around the lander, the idea is to go back to my original design original design many 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 years ago 
where the lander itself was the construction point. Um, in order to build enough equipment and buildings and stuff of this nature to get started, we're going to have to actually build two types of landers. We're going to have to build one that's completely robotic and is just crammed, packed with robot uh, uh, spaceship parts, uh, spacecraft parts, I believe. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. In edit, uh, it's about 9.30. I need to start getting to bed. Anyway, the um, the first lander is going to be a purely seed factory where it just it builds smaller versions of the colony buildings to get started with. So what you're seeing in front of you is um, the colony buildings and they're large and they're big and they're more sophisticated and all circuit stuff whereas the smaller buildings that are going to come out of the first lander are just going to be purely uh purely functional there's not going to be any uh, uh aesthetically pleasing designs whatsoever they're just going to the, there's going to be four buildings that are going to pop out of this thing uh in like a a nice little plus sign or an X, however you want to prefer it. Uh, you're going to have your small little factory. And it's going to build everything from from that point. You're going to have your smelter, and you're going to have your uh, your mining complex, and then you're going to have your command and control, which will also spawn a like a agricultural dome. And the idea is is that the ag agricultural dome and this. Um, this command structure or i don't even know if i'm going to call it command structure more like a maybe like a maybe like maybe a starter compound because it's going to have you know rooms and stuff in it for people to stay in and whatnot and uh it's it's basically everyone's going to be crammed it, it, it's gonna it's gonna be like a like a camp almost and so it's going to have to have food and stuff of this nature, but it's going to be, it's not really going to be a, a specialized building. It's just going to be like all in one almost. It's going to have uh, rooms. Uh, it's going to have um, a command structure. It's going to have um, a mess hall. It's like, it's like a, it's a compound. It's the best way to describe it. It's going to have everything in it. And um, the second lander will come down and it, that will have the people and um maybe like maybe a little rover that comes out to transport the people just in case i don't land right on the dot uh, speaking of landing on the dot if anyone has a really good traje trajectories mod that works for the current ksp let me know oh uh, that'd be great uh you can't use links uh, i've disabled links because i've been getting a lot of bad uh, spam recently in the comments and um, so I've disabled links but uh, just let me know where to go with a space dock or curse forge or maybe it's some sort of link that I've never heard of like there's some mods out there that are like you know something or rather continued and you have to download them from like uh, some sort of download website uh, but you know what I'm you know what I'm talking about but yeah so something trajectories mod would work pretty pretty nicely um, so it's going to have to be two small landers. Um, I'm even thinking about maybe getting a third lander in there that's going to have like more construction or uh, uh, more parts in it well, that will help boost uh, the building of the colony instead of having to wait to mine for everything and smelter and factory and all that good stuff. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas or thoughts below, I'm, uh, I'm more than willing to check them out and maybe even apply them to this concept and once we get a colony going then like I said we can start colonizing other places but uh, that's the idea for right now and hopefully we can get the ball rolling here pretty soon all right well that's all I have for today thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel I am Veos and I'll see you all in the next video bye for now bye bye